finish him. Kill the guy now. Grab the gun. Hit him. Ah, ah, what? what is this? Good day, sir. You are watching Jackie Pan in my house. Who is King Kong, sir? Eh? King Kong. You, you've never heard of ACTV before in your life. ACTV is very educative, informative, and there is the football sport there. There is the entertainment. There are a lot of things you can You can even attend lectures here. All you know is watch all those nonsense artists and do, do nonsense or uh, you watch nonsense on TV. Eh? Last night you almost came in bed with your fist. It's not me, sir. Eh? You, and you wake up every morning, the bed will be so rough, like you will be fighting off your dream. Eh? That's the reason why you have F's in your body, like but that's special image for you. I have you last semester. E, we eat by pounds on you. Very stupid. Oh, yeah, change that section to SCTV right now. And oh, God, they go to have the boss boy. Eh? Stupid boy. You are welcome to EFC 413 class. Today, we shall be revising the topic socialization. A newborn infant is not a social being but a biological being. Why? Because it has not interacted with his or her social environment. The process of transforming a biological being to a social being is called socialization. The question is, what is socialization? Socialization is a gradual learning process through which an individual is initiated into the cultural norms and values of the society. It is a process of acquiring behavior and skills that are needed to effectively integrate into human society. So socialization is an integral part and one of the most important parts of sociology of education. The process through which an infant or a person is transformed into a social being is what we call socialization. Process of acquiring the behaviors, the skills that are needed to effectively operate within human society. And there are three, uh, there are five agents of socialization that we shall discuss today. The first one is the home or family. The home is the first medium through which an a, a, a person will be integrated into the cultural norms and values of the society. And this training can start in the form of toilet training. That is, an infant will be trained not to excrete or urinate anyhow. Another part is language development. An infant starts speaking first the language spoken at home. And research has shown that an infant can learn five languages simultaneously. So, the, home, the language spoken by the parent is one of the first languages a child will start learning with. Apart from that, they also learn how to respect elders and constituted authority. They run errands for their parents and their older siblings. They learn to respect them, how to greet. Learning how to respect their parents at all will spawn them to respect other parents in the society and then their employers or boss or teachers when they get out of the home. Apart from these two, at home, learners also learn their parental occupation. If the, mother, the father is a mechanic, or the mother is an hairdresser, or a farmer, the child will pick skills that can actually enable him or her to effectively function in that direction, even without any formal training. Me are looking and watching their parents doing the work, they too will start to cultivate the ideas of keying in into that occupation. Another important training they receive at home is social control, good behavior. When a child misbehaves at home, the parents scold the child. By scolding the child, he will learn to become a good and effective and moral member of the society. Apart from that, too, they also learn sexual, they also regulate their children's sexual behavior. They will not allow them to get involved in immoral activities on, I mean, in their infancy. They will not be allowed to mix up or to have any relationship with any person of the opposite sex when they are ripe enough for that age. So parents 
and home environment is an integral part of learning process whereby one can acquire the tradition and norms of his society. The next agent is the school. The school is a community where children from various backgrounds and teachers from various backgrounds meet to interact with one another. While in the school, learners learn how to read, write, and to speak in foreign languages. They learn how to reason logically, how to schedule their activities. For example, there will be time for uh, mathematics, time for English, break, and so on and so forth. The scheduling. Apart from that, too, social control. When a student misbehaves, the school authority, the teacher, they will, they will try to adjust the learner to behave in an acceptable manner. And various methods can be used to do this. It could be through the punisher or through counseling. So they, will, they learn how to speak the truth. In tertiary institutions, if, a, if two students should fight, the aggressor will be asked to go home. That is, he will lose his or her studentship. So sc the school is a very important agent of socialization. Apart from these two, we also have occupational training. Learners learn various occupations while in school. For example, law, accountancy, engineering, architecture, and, uh, and so on and so forth. Food and nutrition, home design, home management, and so on. How to become a teacher, how to become a lawyer, an engineer, and an accountant. And even they learn vocational subjects like auto mechanics, plumbing, fabrication, and so on and so forth. So all these are skills that will be needed to be an integral part of the society. They also learn how to be honest, how to be accountable, and how to be accommodating. They should be able to accommodate the weaknesses of others. While in school, too, they also engage in sporting activities. And some of them may earn a living from the sports in which they specialize in when they are in school. The third agent is the peer group. These are people who share the same philosophy, who share the same idea, who share the same interests, who have come to interact with one another. While in school, a person can achieve much by interacting with his, with his or her peers. For example, if a learner is lagging behind in a specific subject or in a specific topic area, he can acquire that knowledge from his, 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 his mates, his peers. So by interacting with one's peer, one can actually make up for areas where he or she is having difficulty in the area of learning. For example, we have what we call academic group discussion. They form group discussion. They will share topics among themselves, ask one to teach. While he's teaching, others will listen. As they are listening, they will also correct him or her wherever she's making mistakes, and they also learn from him or her. By so doing, they share community of interaction and they share knowledge among themselves. Peer group is also an agent of social control. When a member misbehaves, others will caution him or her. My friend, please, if people see you behaving this way, they will think that I'm also doing the same. Please, if you want to continue to be our friend, please stop doing this. And it has worked for so many. Their friends have helped them to imbibe good culture. What of in the area of professional training? Some friends can influence others or can teach others how to do things that they can even earn a living from. For example, basket making, knitting, My daughter can use this to knit any pattern, and her mother did not know how to do anything at all regarding this. Where did she acquire that knowledge? From her friends in school. Some can weave baskets. Some, some can set traps. Some can even make ridges. What of dancing skills? Dancing skills, footballing, bad, badminton, volleyball, swimming, and so on. All these skills can also serve as a means of income generation 
for, to such a learner because he has acquired the skill from his or her peers. Anytime I want to analyze my data, I mean my research work, my doctor will help me with the use of computer to analyze the data, it will be perfectly okay. I may have a published world class journals, and she did not study computer. She did not even have a computer. How did she acquire that knowledge from her peers? So peer group is a very strong influencing agent of socialization. Interacting with good peers can make one to become a world class citizen. Most of the footballers we don't like, Rashidi Yakini, who scored Nigerian first goal in the World Cup, he don't have much formal education, but he football by playing with his friends in the street. This, this helped him to become a star, to be reckoned with. He won African Football of the Year for about four or five years in Nigeria. That shows that interacting with peers can be of good benefit to child development. What of dress, uh, dressing and grooming? The kind of what we our grooming, our hairdo, is influenced by our peers. Moving with a good pair will actually influence us for the better. So peer group should not be taken for granted. Parents should be careful and should watch the kind of friends his or her words interact with. The next agent is the mass media. The mass media. The mass media is a medium through which information can be passed to a large number of people simultaneously or that is available for many people to assess information. We have many examples. We have the radio, television, newspaper, billboard, and so on and so forth. Even the internet facilities. They are mass media because many people can download whatever material in, in, I mean in, on the mass media. For example, this lecture is an online lecture by ACTV. Many students are told because of the lockdown, they will benefit from what we are discussing here on that subject because they tune in to the mass media. The mass media is a strong agent of socialization because it is through the mass media that we learn a lot of culture. We have cultural interaction. We learn different culture, our own culture and culture of our media society and the culture of even foreign society. We can learn them through, from this medium, the mass media. Mass media is an agent of social control. Governments, religious institutions, and many institutions have used mass media to correct the ills and evils in the society through mass orientation and mass education. During this pandemic, we've learned a lot from jingles, adverts on mass media. And many of us have stayed safe because of what we learned from the mass media. And when election is coming, politicians, after the electoral umpire, we also educate the masses with the use of mass media. So it's a in instrument. What of in the area of social interaction? Dancing skills, dressing, Grooming can also be acquired from what we see on television, newspapers, and posters, and billboards. Our hairdo, we imitate music stars, football stars, with the way they bow their hair, and we see them on mass media, which we ask our hairdresser to do for us. So, mass media influences us in a lot of ways. What of academic, what of in the academic area? Mass media are shown to be an important tool in the field of education. They project informative, educative, and entertaining programs through which members of society learn a lot academically. For example, if you watch the SCV program, we have channel for LAN, Nigeria Wide, um, um, Complete, I mean, Super Sports. We have so many channels that can teach us things that will be useful for us educationally. For example, there's a, there's a channel called LEARN. In that channel, they teach science subjects 
on a daily basis. And Leonard can sit down and acquire that knowledge even without going to a former school. We also have discovery channels. We have documentaries that will show us important historical facts about many lands. You watch CCTV, there are some channels there that will show you in-depth history of China. If you watch NTA International, they show us a lot about Nigeria, our culture, our food, our music, and everything about Nigeria that will be needed in the classroom. So mass media is a very strong agent that actually influences one to do what is right. In the area of social control, through the mass media, both parents and government have instructed learners, have instructed members of the society on acceptable behavior. Behavior that are, not, that are not accepted in society will not be encouraged. They will hear programs, maybe movie, it could be talk, it could be tools, that will educate us on the right of action, or the right way to do things. Those things they want society to, to, to discard will be subtly projected through drama, through, through news media, through advice, jingles, and so on and so forth. The mass media is an important agent of socialization. Like I mentioned the other time about sports. Yes, many people play different kind of skills. I mean, I mean, use, I'm play using different kind of skills, skills they watch people using on television. And this has added to their sporting skills. And many have risen today and are making money from sports. The last agent is religious institution. All religions are very important agents of making people to behave in an acceptable way in the society. There is no religion at all that will teach one to steal. All religions abhor stealing. They have all immorality. They have all, all the bad character that the society do not want to accommodate. And religion too, also people to become good citizens. For example, the Bible at Romans chapter 3 verse 1 and Titus chapter 3 verse 1 encourages all to be obedient to those taking the lead to our leaders because they were placed by God. It is not only the Bible that actually asks us to do that. What about the Quran? The Quran also emphasizes obedience and loyalty and serving to leaders. The Bible, for example, encourages all to pay tasks. Those who call for tasks, tasks. That shows that they want, among all religions, actually train adherent to be good member of the society. No religion will encourage immorality. No religion will encourage murder. No religion will encourage armed robbery. No religion will encourage terrorism. Terrorists in the new religion are not actually projecting those religions. They are using terrorism for selfish purposes. But all religions teach good human relations. All religions teach that we should, we should be our brother's keeper. Even our traditional religion forbids all this immorality. Our traditional religion encourages us to be upright member of the society. Upright member of the society. No, our religion will never allow us to steal or to do things that are inimical to the progress of our society. Our traditional religion also encourages respect to our consent authority. That is why we say, Kabiesi, Ibaki Yerusha. That is our king, you are the next to the gods. That means the respect we give to the gods, we also give the same to our traditional rulers. For example, at 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 5, John asked to be in subjection to the older men. That means children should obey and respect their parents. They should obey and respect elders in the society. If they learn how to do this, then when they are working, they will learn to obey and respect their leaders. When we imbibe the text of our religion, when we start working, we will not cheat. We will not want to have an examination of practice. We will not, we will not steal government money. We will not do things that are inimical to the progress of the society. All of us are going to do things that will make the society to be in harmony with, I mean, with, I remember the society to be in harmony with one another and to cherish and to love and to care for our society. So socialization, as we can see, is a very important 
agents of socialization, and it's a very important aspect of human learning. Here we can see that we can learn to acquire the skills that we need to survive in the society. We also learn all those traits that will make us to become enviable members of the society. We also learn to be disciplined members of the society. We learn how to read, how to write, and how to cultivate wholesome behavior, and how to integrate ourselves into the human society, including our occupational training. For example, a mother will say, for lake, please, you see that black, black pot? Put four cups of water inside. Measure a tin of rice. Wash it very well. Pour inside the pot. After about 10, 15 minutes, for lake, what's happening? Mommy is boiling, and the water has changed to white. OK, strain the water. Add two cups of water, half teaspoon of salt. After about 20 minutes, I was mom that, mommy, the water is almost getting dry. It has tiny, tiny holes inside, and water is bubbling. Okay, be watching it. When the water is dry, let me know. Okay, please bring, you bring, bring some, some water with a small, I mean, small spoon. Press it. How is it? Oh, mommy is very salt. Okay, next time, the mother will not say. For like I go and cook rice. You can see that both the home, school, mass media, religious institution, and, and peer group are very strong agents of socialization. Finally, I want to give us this assignment. One, discuss five mediums through which a person can be integrated into the cultural norms and values of the society. Two, why is socialization important? Three, list and explain the roles of five agents of socialization. When next we meet, we shall be looking at social problems in education. And if you have any question, you can send the question to me on WhatsApp and I will reply you. The number is 080-344-97295. Have a great day. Kill the guy now. Run the corner. Get him. What? What is this? Good day, sir. You are watching Jackie Pan in my house. Who is King Kong, sir? Eh? King Kong. You, you've never heard of ACTV before in your life. ACTV is very educative, informative, and there are football sport there. There is entertainment. There are a lot of things you can You can even attend lectures here. All you know is watch all those nonsense artists and do, do nonsense or uh, you watch nonsense on TV. Eh? Last night you almost came in bed with your fist. It's not me, sir. Eh? You, and you wake up every morning, the bed will be so rough, like you'll be fighting off your dream. Eh? That's really why you have F's in your courses, like but I have made for you. I have last semester. E, we eat by pounds for you. Very stupid. We are changing that session to SCTV right now. And oh, but the baby, what's what you first born? Stupid boy. Oh, no.